Hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial in which we're looking at the issue of animation lip sync that is creating different lip shapes so that would be an E shape, an O shape, an A shape and many more I'm just using three for example and then being able to switch between them very quickly when you're syncing to an audio file that you've brought in from somewhere else into After Effects and as you know you can listen to an audio file with the RAM preview the zero key on your number pad when you want to listen to the audio and then making sure that the appropriate mouth shape is showing at the appropriate time against the audio file. So in this tutorial I've just got three shapes to make it simple and hopefully not too long but you would usually have a composition with your various mouth shapes and with your face and your eyes and other bits and pieces of your character so you can actually do the lip sync and you move between them. Now I've obviously chosen very big lip shapes just to demonstrate this for you but yours would obviously be a lot smaller than this and as I say you can have many different ones I've only chosen three but you can have up to 15 or whatever different shapes and you want to be able to go between them very quickly now I'm not actually going to do the animation part bring in the audio file and going between the various lip shapes what I want to show you is how you can do that the method that's involved to switch between the various shapes at the appropriate time and then move on in a probably in a separate tutorial to show you how to create a custom rig that allows you to very quickly do that animation so that the appropriate mouse shape shows at the appropriate time so we'll show the two methods one is the basic method which is sort of in the timeline is a little bit fiddly and the second one is creating the rig and if you're doing a lot of work you really want the rig which is a lot quicker now it's worth saying that this technique works from CC all the way down to CS3 you can have any variation of After Effects in between it works just as well in all of them and mainly I'm also going to be working in frames at the moment you can see my composition is in seconds and I'm 30 seconds but I actually want to work in frames now in CS6 and CC it's control click I can't quite remember what it was in previous versions it might be alt click but otherwise you need to get into frames just to make it slightly easier so this is my main composition and in my main composition I would have all my bits and pieces the face the eyes the background everything but I would also have all my mouth shapes so I would go into the composition and select all those mouth shapes once they're all selected I want to right click pre-compose and in previous versions with them all selected it would be layer pre-compose and once they're pre-composed I'm going to call them shapes pre-comp and I'm going to move all attributes and I'm going to open the new composition so I'm going to click OK there's the composition opened now I actually only want each one of these to last for one frame at the moment you can see it's 750 frames but I actually only want them one frame long so what I'm going to do is select them all again and holding the alt key I'm going to do the close square brackets now it looks like they've disappeared but if I zoom in right down here you'll see that actually they're all one frame long so I've cut them down to the minimum length they can be and the next thing I want to do is separate them out so that each one of them and you might have 10 15 20 whatever they're going to be you separate them out I'm going to go bottom from top but it really doesn't matter which way around you go so they're all separated out via one frame and then I'm going to go to the last frame which happens to be there end to end my work area so it's going around those three frames right click on the bar and then choose trim comp to work area and that is now a three frame long composition and you might think that's crazy but this is the technique we need to use so I've got my three frame long composition which would be 15 frames if you had 15 different mouth shapes basically it's got to be the length of the number of mouth shapes that you have to make this particular technique work now I'm going to go back to the composition where it existed and there it is tiny little composition or pre comp inside my main composition and all my other layers would still be the full 30 seconds long the 750 frames which would include the the shape of the face and the eyeballs and what have you and now on this particular layer I'm going to right click on the layer I'm going to go to time and I'm going to enable time remapping now I'm going to zoom in just a tad so you can see this a little bit better and now we've got time remapping and if I just go through these three frames here you see frame 0 to 1 is the first shape second shape third shape so a o e okay so they're actually based on the frames and then nothing more now what we want to do is we want to be able to animate this by using time remapping so that we can have any frame we want at any point in the composition so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this second keyframe because I don't need that one 
And I'm going to just zoom out a tad now so you can see it. And say at 25 frames, if I went there and I was to have animated the time remapping and I was to choose, say, 2 at that point, I've got a different shape. However, what you will see is I kind of go through other shapes in the middle. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. All I need to do at this point is actually right click on this first keyframe and simply choose toggle hold keyframe which means that the keyframe will hold until I make a change so at 30 frames which is just over one second then I can change it to two and I've got the other one and nothing will happen between those two keyframes and so if I go forward to 50 frames and I take it to one I'm going through all the various different keyframes that I've got and they will hold until I get to the appropriate place. Now, this is fine if you've only got a few mouse shapes and you can remember what number they are associated with. So we can see that we've got zero is one shape, two is another shape, one is another shape. And you might write it on a piece of paper or whatever to create that kind of animation, which is fine, as I say, as long as you've got the ability to be able to remember all the different keyframes. But it would be a lot easier and a lot better if you created a custom rig which gave you the indication at the top of the screen as to all the different shapes that you have and a slider that you just slide over the appropriate shape when you're at the appropriate place in the timeline and it puts the keyframe in for you. So to do that, I'm going to delete these two keyframes but leave time remapping on because that's an important part of the whole process. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to create the custom rig and I can show you how that's done. My name's Andrew Davis. I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.